Hi there, I'm Vicki with an I, and I do DIY. I'm here today at Antonella's house in her art room. She's only lived in this house for about a year, and this room is just a little uninspired. Since this is where she creates her artwork, we really want to change that for her today. She was totally into this super cool chair that hangs from the ceiling, but that chair just was not meant to be. So after searching Marketplace, we settled on a secondhand Papazon chair and an ottoman for only $120. Score! So obviously now we need to pick wall paint and we're gonna get some fabric to do a textural wall detail. And that's just gonna create visual interest and a little bit of depth to our room. Antonella has a shag area rug coming, and area rugs are really great because they ground your space and it's nice and cozy on your feet. After we paint this room, Antonella may do a custom faux photo frame stencil around some of her artwork. I don't know, I'm not sure yet. You'll just have to wait and see if she does it. This is the last time that this room is gonna look like this. Here is where all the magic happens. And obviously she has some really cool artwork. We just really want to highlight these so that you can fully appreciate them. This is the closet in Antonella's art room and it's obviously in need of some storage help. Here is the room before. up all the holes where the artwork was and we've used painter's tape all along the base trim and the trim around the door just to protect any surface because Antonella has only painted one other time so we're just really trying to set ourselves up for success. So we have completed our two coats of wall paint and now is the time to bring the furniture back in and start putting everything in place. Two coats is really important just to have a really consistent coverage. So today I'm back at Antonella's house and all the furniture has been put back into her art room. Now all that's left to do is to put up all of her cool artwork and put up the tension rod with the new curtains that she sewed. Antonella's art room is complete. We painted it a pretty pinkish peach color and that really highlights her artwork. We used a tension rod and she sewed these curtains and it's just a nice backdrop for this really cool Papazon chair that she now has that we got for 120 bucks. She has some really funky, cool artwork, and now it's just displayed in an interesting way using this tension rod and string. We picked up this gold mirror on Marketplace for $50, and it really ties in the other gold stuff in the room, like this vintage lamp that she had before and also the gold tension rod that we used for the curtain and to hang some of the artwork. The area rug was relatively inexpensive, like under $100, and it's just really nice to add an area rug into your room. 
In her closet, she added these storage shelves and it's just really made organizing super simple and gotten everything up off the floor. 